votes 2024. St. John's County voters got the chance to meet more than 20 candidates who will be on the August 20th primary ballot, including the candidates that are buying for the three county commission seats. News for Jack's reporter Ariel Schiller spoke with most of those candidates tonight at the Solomon Calhoun Community Center about what they plan to do if they're elected. This community center was packed with hundreds of people wanting to hear directly from candidates running for office in St. John's County. Eight of 10 candidates running across three districts for county commission were here to share their platforms directly with voters. First up is District 1. Current county commissioner Christian Whitehurst is facing Amory Evans and Weston Ferguson. Ferguson was not in attendance Wednesday night. Commissioner Whitehurst says he wants to finish what the current commission started. We want to continue setting that expectation for new developments that come into the county. Making big investments into public safety. We've uh, funded four new fire stations with sheriff substations. Continuing to ensure that St. John's County is one of the safest places to live in the state is a top priority for me. And then uh, quality of life enhancements like the parks, like the trails, like the conservation efforts that we've made. Anne-Marie Evans is one of the candidates facing Commissioner Whitehurst. She wants to slow the growth in the county, improve infrastructure, and keep taxes low. Why those three things? I think those are the three things that really matter to people, slow the growth. When you have overdevelopment, there are consequences to that. If you don't have infrastructure, traffic becomes worse for everybody. Our kids go to school, there's overcapacity, and they're in portables. Um, it also destroys our environment. I'd like to reduce clear cutting as well. Next up is District 3, where current Commissioner Roy Alamo is challenged by Clay Murphy, Heather Harley-Davidson, and Michael McDonald. I spoke with Alamo about the three things he hopes to do if he's reelected. So public safety is always going to be number one, managing the growth for the future, uh, making sure projects are compatible and that we have the infrastructure, and then, of course, you know, keeping our taxes low. Uh, and keeping the quality of life high. Michael McDonald says the county needs more representation, accountability, and less waste. He also shared how he plans to address voter concerns with rapid growth in the county. I'm hoping to move forward logically and consider the projects that come to come to fruition when they come to fruition. We're not going to um, bend to them whenever. We'll use the uh, development review board in the development code and emphasize on that. Heather Harley Davidson is hoping to address issues with overdevelopment if she's elected. I've lived here 55 years. I've raised four children here. I surf, I, I um, hunt. We, we have lived off the land. We enjoy our natural resources. We've got to protect them and we have to protect the rights of the ordinary people. Clay Murphy hopes to put a cap on overgrowth and also address that overgrowth with building new schools if he's elected. We are jam packing our schools. So we have to go in to the legislature, to the state legislature and say this 150% rule where you can't release funds until you to build another school until you're at 150% capacity. There needs to be any, an exception for that for the fastest growing counties in the state. Finally, in District 5, Commissioner Henry Dean is facing Ann Taylor and John Higby III. Higby III was not at Wednesday night's event. Commissioner Dean says his focus, if he's reelected, is creating a county housing authority, keeping beaches healthy and restored, and we're visiting a tree ordinance that would strengthen protections of specimen trees. Well, I enjoy what I do. I like helping people. I like restoring beaches. I like uh, building new parks and fire stations that's underway now. And I would just hope people would see the things that I've been able to accomplish and vote for me. Ann Taylor hopes to slow the rapid growth of the county and preserve and protect county land. We've got to slow the res residential growth and let our infrastructure catch up. So that I'm, I'm a big, we, we, we've got to, and when I mean by infrastructure, that means our roads, that means um, our fire department, our sheriff, our, our schools, um, everything comes, comes into that. Early voting in St. John's County starts on August 10th and runs through August 6th.